My name is Matt Lewis. Um, I am the DP of Boiling Point. From being, I was an only child, um, and my outlet, I guess, and to keep myself entertained was I'd just take photos constantly. And I look back and I can see like me learning composition and lighting through like landscape images. And that transitioned into shooting short films with my friends. I just completely fell in love with storytelling um, and like human emotions. It was just seemed like a really natural way of like, I guess, having fun. And then uh, yeah, I was like went through school, college, and I knew I wanted to do something in media, so did that. I uh, went and studied film and television at uh, Portsmouth Uni. Came out of it and then just basically worked as a camera assistant. The actor of my graduate film, he gave me a call while I was training and he was like, look, I want to shoot some short films, I want to start directing. Would you come and make them for me? And I was like, yeah, okay, I'll make some, make some short films while I do my bread and butter stuff and learn my craft in that way. And he is uh, Phil Barantini, who is now the director that I work with You know, most. We've gone on to shoot three feature films, six episodes of television, literally the both of us sort of rising together and it's been a wicked journey. So yeah, that's pretty much the way it's happened. Falling Point was my second feature film. It was all shot in one take. It was a almighty challenge. Filmed in Dalston in East London. We did it in March 2020, it was just before the lockdown. We actually got kind of cut short. We were meant to have eight goes at shooting it and we got four goes at it. It was a third take that we used for the final film. So the, the natural style of Boiling Point, it was forced upon us in a way because we could only light through practicals, really. It was a real restaurant. It wasn't like it was loads of fake walls and a ceiling we could lift off and rig above. It was all built-in stuff. Because all it was was like a lantern outside. Other than that, it was all light bulbs. We just basically spent the money on different bulbs and different shades, so we obviously with art department. Just controlling light in the space, and we had like all of our practical lights over tables on rudimentary like dimmers that my gaffer had like wired over to, the, to a hidden room. We didn't have to overlight the space and, and we didn't have to bring in loads of big heavy lights because we didn't have to rate it to some low ISO. We were at um, 2500 on the, on the Venice One and that was just ideal. It meant that we could light it pretty much through with practicals and we didn't have to hide any more extra lamps to augment what was there. We could just use what was there. The whole thing was on the Rialto honestly made such a difference to how I could move the camera. We had it on an easy rig, um, so the sensor was up front and the body of the camera was on my back, high enough on my back that as I turned, I didn't like knock everything off all the kitchen counters or like set it on fire. So it was, yeah, it was like, it was perfect for me being nimble. I had these two handles here. I think I had two starlight monitors like that, 45 degrees, <laughs> because I spent more time pointing it to a side than I did like straight on because the space was so tight. But it meant I could like slot myself into a little tiny area of like the kitchen and then like spin it to someone that way. Um, with a monitor this way and then spin it back and get that way. So the Rialto was so perfect for what we needed for it.